Hello, welcome to another jewelry jar video. I hope you're in the mood to look at something very pretty and bright and sparkly that we hope pops out of these bags. Jewelry jars is kind of a generic term for them now. We hope we find something really special and sweet, but we just never know what's like, look, there's a cow with some udders. We don't know what's in that, but we just kind of gamble with it. This one that says, I man. I don't know, I really hoard these guys. I was very glad that I did so. There's like a little shell or something painted there. Because boy, we've been away from our thrift stores for um, over a month. And um, it's been hard not being able to go back and find more. So I can't wait. I think they're gonna probably open up sometime next month. I know a lot of things will open up, but um, we just don't know for sure. But anyway, I sure am glad I did pick some up. And we're going to start with this one here. I hope to get through it all today. I'm trying to record some as well, but um, some people really do like the live. So we'll get started and see what we find. If you have never seen a jewelry jar, you're in for a great bit of fun. And if you like that, I hope that you hit the thumbs up as soon as you walked in the door. If you enjoyed it when we're done, please do it on the way out. Either way will work. Just don't do it twice because then it cannot too kind of negates itself. And be sure and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Be sure and do that. And over by the, the, the subscription bar, there is also a bell that you can hit. And if you hit that bell, you will be notified when I go live, as some of my viewers that are popping in right now have been notified. So they know that I'm going to do a jewelry jar right when I get started. Sometimes the notifications go out a little bit late, but be sure and respond to that notification as well or else you'll stop getting them. So uh, yeah, whenever I put a, a live video or a brand new one, you'll get a little text alert. All right, so let's get started and then I'll say hello to a few people in the chat. I am so happy that you're here, guys. What a wonderful way to spend an evening in a jar, right? It's better than in a bottle. Which doesn't sound too bad, actually. I don't think I could drink a whole bottle of wine, but I could sure use a glass. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, I love brooches, and they are so rare these days in jars. I just never really find brooches, but that one is so cute. It reminds me a little bit of that treasure chest I found in Chicago, but this is like a little flower basket. How's the lighting in here? I don't know if I adjusted it as well as I could have. I think it's okay. Let me know and I'll bring you down a little closer too. That's pretty. Hey, Ms. Vanessa, Gail, Jude, Liz, how are y'all? I'm glad you're here. Sherry's here too. And let me see, Zybe as well as Myra and Liz, and Juana and Violet, Patty Feb, Olga Rivera, Kimberly, Jody. <laughs> I know, there, it gets a little uh, tiresome, doesn't it, watching the same old things sometimes, but jewelry jars always just take us away. Guys, this looks vintage to me. It's got the little rivet, and a lot of times that's what people say is the mark of a Vintage brooches if it has that little rivet, but um, we shall see. That is really cool, though. Hi, Miss Karen. This, I think, was it is already got its little jump ring, little soda pop cap there. Yeah, I want a jewelry jar, too. I'm down to a couple. Well, maybe not a couple, but a few. <laughs> a few. They're being rationed around here in my household. I feel like they're being rationed or something. I don't want to open them all at once, but um, they've been really good. These have been $29 lately. I've been really lucky with what I had picked up at the very last few weeks at that particular Goodwill. They were, I think, a lot better than the 30 and 50. No, the 50 and 60 and even 80 I had picked up. I think this is a Premier Designs. Yeah, I see the little crown back there. It's a nice one. It almost has a little patina like, uh, like real silver. Very cool. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not out of bags yet. I've got some broken beads here. Put those aside for a bead bag. Ooh, that's a cute earring. That's a post too. I love tassels. 
This reminds me of one that I had from James Avery, guys. This is uh, Liz Claiborne. I had a James Avery one long ago. I don't even remember where I got it. I think I got it on eBay. And then I had to wind up selling it because it was so heavy I could not wear it. And they were vintage. So they, they brought in a good penny, but uh, it was a real shame that I couldn't keep them because they were so heavy I couldn't use them. That's a pretty earring, though. Ooh, look at this. Oh, my goodness, Miss Sherry. And do you always find them when you go? It's a long way to go. Well, I go 50 miles to work every day, and I stop at a few on the way back from work. So I hear you. This is very nice. This is uh, like a shell or acrylic link here. It's long. Hi, Mimi, Sherry. I'm glad you're here. Guys, if I miss your name, it's not because I intend to. Just want to get through the, the bag. Looks like 39 people are here. Go over and hit that thumbs up if you can. You just have to leave the screen for a little while. I can't tell. Does that say swank? Like the jeweler, jewelry line for men? Let me get my little loop. It almost looks like it says swank. Let me check. And there's a little wear on the chain. I almost want to take the white out and make a choker out of it. Because there's a little wear on this. It's got a dangle too. Like a little crystal dangle. No, it is PLM Soho. HLM Soho, I think is what it says. But I do see a little bit of wear on one of the chains. So, I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Because it's so obvious, maybe it's supposed to be, but it's not down here, so probably not. I'd like to make a choker out of this white one, though, because I think that has enough there. I could get Robert to fashion something there. That would be cute. Okay, what do we have here? Tassel. That's cute. It's a nice short one. Those are big. Oh, my goodness. Those look so exotic. These look like something from Vegas, right? Like those um, entertaining ladies. What are they called? I don't know. I forget. Vegas dancers. I've never been to Vegas, actually. So that's cute. Hi, Sanja. Braided kind of seed beads and silver. More of a metal, gunmetal look, actually. Showgirls. There you go. Thank you, Vanessa. Don't they look kind of showgirl-like? Right? I like that brooch. That's cute. These are glass and ceramic. and Not ceramic. Acrylic. And boy, they're dusty. I need a bath. Interesting beads there. I like the glass ones. Those are pretty. And we have pearls. Ooh, these are cute earrings. Hope we find a match. Got your beads today. Oh, fabulous. I don't know if you're talking to me. <laughs> but whoever sold you beads, I'm glad you're happy. This is pretty. Some little faux beads, uh, pearls rather. And they do look kind of like uh, a vintage style because of the barrel clasp. They are graduated and really pretty. They don't feel heavy or glass-like like some better quality ones, but they're not bad, and they have a nice luster. Okay. Ooh, that's a beautiful earring. Oh, look at those AB stones. Here's some um, sterling, I think. Sure looks like it, and it looks like peridot. Look. Look, look, look. Multi-strands here. Oh, wonderful, Vera. I'm so glad you're happy with them. I've been putting a lot of beads together, and it's been fun because I got like one of my most, one of my biggest, not the biggest one in Texas or whatever I did a video about, not the pink one. I actually gave that one back to the thrift store. But another one, really big, and I've had so much fun building it with beads. It just looks really cute. Kind of reminds me of sand art or something. It's, <laughs> it's really looking pretty. So I sold one, and now I'm building another one. 
Yeah, this definitely looks like sterling findings. Let me double check with that. With my loop. And there, I think, um, Pyridol. Yes, they, oh, it's a Silpata, y'all. Yeah, it's a Silpata, nice. Sterling, Silpata, bingo. 925, Silpata sign there. Let me show it to you in case you're not familiar. It is kind of a, um, a chevron look to it. And then sometimes they don't put the 925 right next to the chevron. They'll put it on another side of the necklace. But this one actually has the 925 on top of the little chevron. And then it's got a copyright. There it is there. There you go. Wow, this is really nice. Yes, I think it's about seven strands. There's three, four, five, there's six. And very, very nice findings. That's a beautiful. I think I sold a Peridot single strand to Vanessa in my last auction. That's a nice one, too. Okay, I will give it a bath. Yeah, you're right, because it's in there with those other ones that are, I mean, they look dusty. They really do. A picture. Oh, these are nice. This is like a little scapula in here, kind of a little Catholic thing, and it's in Spanish, and it's San Antonio. And I am so glad San Antonio showed up. St. Anthony. San Antonio actually means St. Anthony, y'all. And I think St. Anthony, if I'm not mistaken, because my neighbor used to always tell me, oh, I was praying to St. Anthony because I lost this. Well, I lost something too. Didn't show up in the mail and it shows delivered from eBay. I'll be praying. Hopefully it'll show up. That is so nice. I love it. And it's in Spanish. A little Spanish prayer to St. Anthony. And then it has like a little scapula right here. Scapula, am I saying that right? Anyway, I'm glad I got that. That's very nice to have. Okay, what is this? Some faux pearls again? It is. It's a faux pearl necklace, kind of braided mesh design here with a box clasp. Probably about 20 inches long. Not quite choker, a little longer than a choker size. That's pretty. And... Very nice earrings. Put those aside. Some beads. It's a heavy bead. What is that? It's a very heavy bead. It almost looks like it opens. Nice. And a, um, I think that's another Christian symbol there. More beads. Here's a crucifix. No, a cross. It's an earring, it's silver tone. Thank you. I just found this ring in my living room. I had done a haul and it would still be on top of my piano and uh, had the tag on it still. Or I think I did a thrift haul and showed it to you guys. And I think I told you I was gonna show it to you up close with a jewelry haul and I forgot all about it and it was still sitting on my piano along with some other things that I've been wanting to uh, send to friends, and I finally found them. <laughs> oh, this broke. It's a pretty one, though. Look at that. It just needs to be reattached, I believe, unless the hinge is cracked. No, it's still there. So that'll be a good and easy fix for a little statement necklace that I guess would go something like that. That's pretty. It is broken in need of repair. Oh, another statement. Lots of nice pieces in here. One missing stone. These are like mirror, honestly. Kind of a mirror color there. Interesting. And I, I think I only see one stone missing. Right there. You can hardly see it because this thing is so sparkly. What is this? Some kind of turquoise. 
These are faux, obviously. You can see the matrix is pretty uniform and contrived, but it's so cute anyway. I like it. It's square beads. <laughs> That's different. And the color is very nice. Very, very nice. Faux turquoise. More little earrings. These look like sterling, too. I hope we find these. Hey, Miss Barbie Cross, how are you? Let me see if these say sterling. They sure look like it. I wish they were gold. They're so heavy. Hmm. Let me look on the inside. They sure have the patina of 925. But I don't see a mark, so we will check that a little closer later. We have one of these little... Ooh, cute! I thought it was just like this. Cute on this side. Thank you so much, Miss Mary. I appreciate that. Cassandra, how are you? Oh, I'm so glad you're happy with them, Miss Cassandra. I'm so glad you're happy with them. This is so cute. I could wear this one. I really could. I think I could wear that. Oh, I got to show you a bracelet I got. Guys, I'm so excited about it. I have never seen a, such a delicate Zuni. Look at that. I think this is, this is not the sun face, I don't think. I think Jude can help me out if she knows. But look at that precious piece, guys. I love this. I found this online. Oh, my gosh. And look at the beautiful abalone. Well, it's actually, I guess, mother of pearl, but it has such a rich color. It has an adorable color. <laughs> Stealing your word, Jude. Just an incredible color right there on the inlay. And then the, the even the coral is not like that stark red. Definitely vintage. It's scratch sign there. And it's just such a delicate piece. You rarely find little delicate, you know, just simple. This does, The stones are what's kind of stands out on it and then I left the patina intact because it's so thin that it almost looks like it's on rubber or leather or something I thought it was so cute so I'm not sure if that's a headdress or a maybe it is the sun face I don't know or does the sun face have the two dots for eyes I'm not sure but I love it so much oh you didn't get one well we just started a little while ago I'm kind of just lingering over whatever <laughs> I'm just showing you things that I got and oh, I didn't have what else did I get oh I got another beautiful abalone butterfly cuff that I'll show you next time I'm not wearing it right now these are faux but they're very heavy and glass like and they do have a nice luster these do need a bath as well <laughs> and they are knotted and boy they you can see a little bit of the yellowing on the knot so a good bath will do these a world of good for sure all right what is this wisdom this is engraved guys with three initials well welcome thank you for being here for your first live NMP and it says wisdom on here I don't know. I can't tell if that's silver tone or sterling on that heart. Let's see if I can get my magnet over here. It is sticking, so it's probably not. But it's cute. I guess you could take that off. Still a very nice bracelet. These are actually heavy beads. More of these beads. These are really cool. There are like two of them there. And then here's an earring. I like that bead too. It's really cute. Here's another cute earring. Let's put those there till we find some matches. I think this was uh, maybe a bead that went in a necklace or something. It's got the little hole on us. Did it go blank on us? <sighs> we may have to come back in just a minute, guys, because my phone just rang. Thank you. Is it back now or is it black? Let me know if it's back. 
black screen. All right, I'm gonna come right back. We're gonna call it part two. We'll leave it right here because we got a lot of bag to look at. All right, give me about 10 minutes to come back and I'll see you in a minute. 